Hey everyone. So today in the video, we're going to be looking at uh, a new tool called Flex Clip. Now, I only looked at this momentarily when I got access to the account and uh, wanted to do a video with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into what this is. You know, there's a lot of times where you may need to edit videos and you don't have you know, a video editing tool on your computer like uh, Adobe Premiere or uh, Final Cut or anything like that. And you just need a really great lightweight tool that comes with some templates um, and Flex Clip uh, is one of those tools. So let's go see how they stack up. My background is in video production, so I feel I'm pretty versed at, at being able to, to um, validate this with you guys. So let's go ahead and log in to the account. I'm just going to log in with my email account that I have connected to this. Okay, so once we're in, this is the dashboard here. As you see, I did do a, a test trial to see how it worked, um, but we're gonna go ahead and just look at everything that's in here. So with any tool that's out there, especially if you don't have a background in video, having templates available to you is a huge benefit. Uh, and these guys do a great job at that. You know, we've got things for real estate ads, birthdays, online course promos, uh, Father's Day. So it looks like they're, they're gonna be um, pulling different holidays in here, promos and sale, lifestyle recently added. So they're always adding to it, which is great. Um, slideshows, intros and outros. We've got different ads, education, corporate. Uh, birthday, all this kind of stuff that's in here. Okay. Trailers, fashion, beauty. So there's, there's a lot of, of content that comes in this uh, right out of the box. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Um, I did this template up here um, that was based off of, of marketing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a search. We're going to see what comes up. So marketing video tutorial. So let's go ahead and pick this one here. It's the same one that I just used, but we're going to go ahead and do it because I know it's a good kind of combination of things that you could, could work with in here. So we're going to say customize. Now we can go into two different modes here. We've got timeline mode, as you see down below, where you can add stuff to it, or we got storyboard mode, which is, you know, building in a whole like blocks that are there. Um, we're going to use storyboard mode for this demonstration. So I'm going to click on this. Now it's going to load the editor and it's going to bring in the initial template. So wait for that to load up for you. All right, so starting to build out here. As you see down across the bottom, um, we've got the different blocks, the storyboards that are in here. So we're gonna click on the first one. As we see up here, it gives a preview. We can click on it. We've got you know general tools here for fonts. So we got bolds. Now, when I initially brought this up and I looked at this, I was like, okay, there's not many fonts, but these are just the categories. So if you click on this, you've got a ton of fonts to work with in here. Right, so you can go ahead and change out the font to be on brand with what you want. Um, you can change the color, bold, so forth. Same type of thing. You can go ahead and pick different fonts that are here. Um, so that's very helpful. You can edit the text. So if I want to go and edit this, I think I can double click and edit. Yes, I can. It shows up on the left hand side that's here. So the text on the whole screen shows up on the one side. So we could say here that says, um, Jing video is can't even cut awesome you should do more of it yeah so that's what it does uh in here now um let me just skip this kind of stuff now as for increasing the size uh, let's see what our options are for that. I don't think, oh, wait, what's this here? Pop up. Nope. Um, I don't think we have much control over size in the font here. Um, from what I can initially see. Now, that may that may be different. Um, I may not be looking in the right spot. But initially out here, I don't see an option for font size. Um, you can upload your own font. That's good. If you got a Google font or another font file that's on brand, you can upload that. Okay. So we're going to leave it as that for now. Um, if you click on the background, you have your options for the colors in here. So we see there's two colors in the 
actually there's three there's some white in here for the fonts um, but you've got the option to change it out and be kind of more on brand with what you're doing now the photo would, would have to be something else um, versus what um, you know I can't change the color in this unless I did it outside of the program but as for you know adding media to this I can upload local files um, I can record a screen or a webcam uh, which is really cool you don't have to use an outside program so I can go ahead and hit record webcam, record a video and, and inject it in there or record my screen if I want to. Let's hop over to the next one. Um, it doesn't allow me to um, like set the font across the board uh, for everything that's in there. So you just gotta be aware of um, what fonts you use. I don't even remember what the font was that I used, but I'm just gonna pick another one that's here. Oh, here's the font sizing. You can drag it up. Let's just go back and take a look here if I can do that over here. I don't know, this one here doesn't allow me to do that. But this one here does allow me to increase the box. So I could rearrange things. Um, as for the background image that's here, um, there are photos on the left side that you can go and pull from. So maybe we're going to look at thing. Uh, and let's say maybe I want to pull in a different image. Let's see how I can replace that just like that. Okay, so that does that. Now it didn't go full screen in there. Um, let's try a transform. Nope, that's just going to rotate, adjust. We got exposure, so we could do some. Okay, so we can adjust some things in the font or in the font in the image. So that's pretty cool to have the ability to adjust your your image in the background. Get some vignette options on the side. Um, wish that there was a scaling option. Um, by the looks, of it, you have to have the exact size image um, that you'd want. Let me see here. Pull another one over and see what happens. Okay, so that one seemed to have stalled out. Oh, no, there we go. Just taking a minute or two. Um, okay, so that's what it did. Uh, let's, oh, hold on. What's this? Zoom. There we go. Hit zoom. Perfect. So it does, I, I wouldn't expect that they would leave that out uh, in a tool like this. Okay, so you can go and adjust again colors in here. Um, beyond brand we can do a white and blue just like that so some pretty cool stuff there um you got your layers you got your timing positioning you could move it around that way edit the text we already saw that part let's see what's under gifts here for images so yeah so we can go ahead and see what shows up throw it over top of course, you wouldn't want to do that. It's going to look ugly, but you get the idea. You, you have a bunch of stuff that you can pull from video. Um, looks like there are stock, let's see, business. So that was an image. So I could essentially have put a video in the background, I think. Trim video. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Awesome. Hit preview. It's going to show us the, the first couple slides. Okay, so put the video and then that comes over top. Pretty slick, pretty slick. I'm liking how this is going. You got your transitions. You can edit the transitions. There's a bunch to choose from here. Um, so they don't absolutely have to be, you know, just the dissolve. It can do that kind of stuff. If you want to take one out, you can do that. You want to add in a storyboard, you can add it in. And then your templates are over here. So they don't have to be all that same style. Um, music. We've got a music library to choose from. So you can choose some of the music here. You can throw it into the video. So it'll play in the video. Now I don't have my speakers turned off, so I don't have feedback, but I'm going to see what this looks like here. If I go here, we're going to preview. Pretty cool. Seconds. We ran up the full length. Goes to the next one. Excellent. Um, when it comes to, let's just go back to the left side here. If my face is in the way, let me move that. Um, under branding, um, here. Oh, here's where you can actually set your fonts. Look at that. So we can, uh, you know, insert the brand text, pick the font, pick the size. Um, 
imaging, you can put your logos in here. So you got a lot you can actually do with this. Save it here. So this is test. And once you're done, when you go to export, you can export to 1080p. Um, if you got the, the plus account, if you got the basic account, you can go 720, um, a GIF. So if you want to make uh, like an animated GIF for, you know, in emails, you've got the ability to do that within this platform too. So some really great options. Um, I'm just going to go at a 720 just for the sake of time. Um, and this is what it's going to do. It's going to process this, going to give you a time frame. You can also share and you can embed the video. Now I'm recommending that you wouldn't embed with their system. Um, you would actually put it on your YouTube or your, your Vimeo or your Wisti or whatever, um, embed it to your site that way. Um, but still, if you're going to share it to a team for approval, you can go ahead and do that. And they've got some direct integrations with uploading directly to YouTube, uh, Dropbox, and Google Drive, which is excellent. So we're merging the storyboards here. So now it's going to download um, to my computer, and um, I'm only sharing this window. So if I brought that up, you wouldn't see it. Okay. So let's go back to the editing side. Quickly go back to the home screen. Click on the logo, easy navigation, and then your video show up here in the top four projects. Um, and you can manage those. Uh, you can duplicate them or delete them. So the duplicate feature is great because a lot of times I know for myself when working on client projects, especially if you're doing like intro animations for different sequences or maybe po video podcast episodes, and you just need to change out that title of the episode, um, you can duplicate it and do it that way, or you can edit the existing one and just export that over and over again. Um, there's cloud storage options here. It says your cloud storage is empty, create a project, store them locally or online. Um, stock video. So it's a stock video library that's in here as well. So you don't necessarily just have to be editing in here. I think let's just go in here and look. Let's look for real estate. Again, like I said, I haven't gone fully through this yet. Um, I just wanted to give you the first hand view and my experience with it. So if we click on this. Okay, so yeah, you can use the video here um, and then it has to put it into the platform. Um, now there's nothing to be said that you couldn't throw it into a timeline and then download that and then edit it somewhere if you need it to. Um, but um, by the looks of this, most of the, the functionality in here um, is built within. So let's go ahead and start from scratch and let's check out the timeline mode and see what this actually does. Because we looked at the storyboard mode, which was the ability to use kind of the blocks that are there. Let's see what kind of functionality it gives us uh, in using a timeline. So it's going to suggest we start with a template. Let's skip the tutorial here. Let's go ahead and look at intro because a lot of times uh, intro for YouTube. Oh, well, people want this kind of content. So let's see if we can find something that looks pretty snazzy here. This is kind of marketing related. Let's go ahead and throw this scene down here. All right, so maybe um, want to come in here, look at this. I can edit this, double click. Let's see. Okay, so this is what the time, I'm going to move my face over here. So this is what the timeline looks like um, each of the different elements. So tips about online. So we can go in here. Let's see how this works. How do I edit that? Um, maybe I can't right within the timeline mode here. Let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? I think the timeline is just for moving it around. Let's get out of this side here and let's see what happens. Edit up here. Okay, so we edit it all up here and then we can go ahead and go in the timeline and readjust things around. I see how this works. So this could be um, how to use flex clip. Here, got this one, could be detailed walk through. Logo, maybe I want to throw a logo in here. So let's see, let's go and find our logo. I'm not sure if you're seeing this in the recording because I'm only recording the window, but I am going to grab my logo from my logo file. And again, little public service and husband here. If you're getting a business, and you don't have proper logos. Um, you should really look at getting them. All right. So we're uploading that. Okay. So there's my blue cow logo. Perfect. Um, I'm not sure about the background image, how I can actually adjust that. So remove background animation, adjust. If I wanted to do another photo. Um, let's click on timeline here. Let's see which one's the image. So that's that, that's that, that's that, that. Maybe that's, this is the one here. It's not allowing me to actually replace that image. Let me 
can shorten that. Let's see. No, that's not it either. Interesting. Um, I, I think I'd have to play around with it a bit more to figure out. Let's see if I took a photo here. This might be it. So if I was to upload a photo, um, these are searching for photos. How do I upload media? Here we go. Upload local file. Let's go ahead and look at my headshots. Maybe I want to put my photo in there. That one's more centered. So let's use that one. We're going to upload that. See what happens. Okay, so that's what happens. Throws it in there. Uh, and then I can zoom it. That. Uh, maybe I want to move it. Positioning. Perfect. All right, look at that. That was easy. And then what we got down here for a timeline. Let's see if we play this. There's black there. That's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. I like it. And then if I, I think if I was going to do a recording, maybe I could go ahead and do everything right within this. Um, I could say record screen. So if I did this, oh, can it pop up and allow me to pick my screen to record? So I could essentially, if I'm doing these kind of tutorials, I could do it all within FlexClip uh, and not do it in Loom or anything like that, but allow me to add elements to this, which is really cool. Um, there's an icon here from your phone. What's this? Scan with mobile phone. Please use your camera to scan to upload. Let's try this. Let's open my camera. I've never seen this before, but this might blow my mind. I scan that. Okay, so I did that. You're obviously not seeing this. It's opening up Flex Clip on the website, and there's an upload. I can select media, upload from my photo library. Um, let's see. I'm going to pick up a picture. Here's a frog I found in my, my yard yesterday. Oh, look, it's uploading. Okay, I have to say I am impressed with this feature. This alone I've never seen anywhere else. That is pretty darn cool. So now there's the image uh, that I just uploaded from my phone. Simply scan the QR code uh, and in it went. You know, I've used a couple other web-based editors and if I was to rate them from what I've seen, um, obviously nothing would beat an actual like video editing suite, like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut or anything like that. But when it comes to actually uploading, um, not uploading, but actually using a web based video editor, this one hands down is the best one that I've seen. Um, and I'm not saying that because, you know, I was given a free account to check it out uh, and do a review. I told them I'll give them a completely honest review of it. Um, as you saw, as we went through this, there was a couple things that I saw that I was like, I don't know how to do that, but you know, clicking around a little bit, I figured it out. Uh, but the feature set alone from what it can do, um, it hasn't crashed yet. Um, it hasn't locked up so far. So good. Now, one thing I want to see here, it says remove background. What I know in Canva, Canva has a great background removal. Let's see what this does. Now I did the photo. Now it's going to try to remove that background. Now this photo is pretty easy because it's got a white background on it. But it'll really come down. Look at that. Okay, so that's pretty clean. It did a great job at, at removing that background. I would say download. Okay, actually, wow. Okay, so it downloaded to my computer. And now I have, oh, I actually have a PNG file that I can use in there. And it also put it into my library. So as you can see there, it did that and put it on the black background. Okay, again. I'm, my mind is starting to get blown with this. Um, you should really check it out. So that's as far as I'm going to go in this demo from what I've seen with this so far. Um, we've got different elements. Sorry, let's just look at this before we do this. We've got elements. So let's just say we want to put, put a subscribe thing over here. Look at that. What does it do? You wouldn't necessarily want to put it there, but let's just see. Okay, it's animated, awesome. So if you're doing a video, you wanna see that, you can put that in there. So there's a lot of great elements for that. Um, overlays, so text overlays, logo overlays, uh, backgrounds. So you got different backgrounds that you can use from here um, and the branding. So this is this is pretty cool. I've gone ahead and put my link to Flex Clip in the description of this video for you to check out, show some love about it. Uh, completely transparent. I did sign up as an affiliate um, after I saw that it was a, a video tool that aligned with what my clients need. So the link down below, if you do sign up, um, show some love, you love this video, comment, 
like, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff that we want you to do uh, on YouTube. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm going to be using this for my business. So go ahead and throw your questions below this video um, in here. And if I can help you, I can go ahead and do that and uh, answer your questions. So thanks for watching um, and enjoy your time trying out and using FlexClip.